Liz, you've told so many embarrassing stories on your channel, I doubt there's anything else you could talk about. Did I ever tell you about the time I cried over a power outage? At 17 years old? So you could say I don't like power outages. Why? Because when the power goes out, especially at night, it is both completely dark and completely silent. The only thing you can hear is your unwanted thoughts, which are conveniently whispering realistic ideas into your head. Well, snap. Ghosts do exist. Liz, what? Like I said, very realistic ideas. As dumb as it sounds, power outages are actually pretty high up on my fears list. Probably right between dentists and bubble wrap. So of course, I've had many terrible power outage experiences. But today, we will be talking about just one. The very worst of them all. Question. What is your house's favorite drink when it's out of power? Electricity. Like tea and electricity. I'm kind of proud of that one. It all started on one fateful night. When I was watching a YouTube video about ghosts. Liz, Liz, bubble wrap is on your list of fears. Why were you watching a video about ghosts? Because I'm a strong individual who can handle things. Shut up. Anyway, I was watching this dandy little video when suddenly the unimaginable happened. The power went out during my video about ghosts. Here's some information that might be important to consider. My bedroom at the time was a windowless room in the basement, so no natural lighting, just me and my good old friend Darkness. Secondly, I might be known by my family to be just a slightly paranoid person who just slightly overthinks everything and comes up with slightly unrealistic scenarios that are physically impossible to be true. And thirdly, did I mention this all happened during my YouTube video about ghosts? It was as if God looked down and thought, oh, I see she's still staying up until 4 a.m. After repeatedly telling her mom she's gonna fix her sleep schedule. So she lied. Lies are not, lies are not nice. She'll pay for this. The only lying she'll be doing is lying in a grave. <laughs> That was a pun about death. It was a good pun. Um, killing her might be a little extreme, so maybe we'll just... Hmm. Is she watching a video about ghosts? Huh. This'll be easier than I thought. No. So I got out of bed and headed to the stairs to go get a flashlight. But something I failed to mention is occasionally when I'm nervous, my mind makes up sounds that aren't actually there, which could honestly be a story for a video in itself. So in other words, my mind hates me and wants me to feel like I'm dying. As I was walking out of my room, I heard something in the silence. I heard what sounded like someone walking close by and carrying keys. <laughs> The ghosts, they're, they're, they're gonna come kill me with their keys. So I dart upstairs into my mom's room. Mom, yeah, it's, it's 3 a.m. The power went out. Yes, I, uh, I can see that. It's, it's dark. Mm-hmm. That's generally what happens when the power goes out. All right, well, maybe you should go back to- I can't go back to bed. I was- I was- I was watching a video and it killed our power and ghosts- uh, ghosts are a thing and darkness and silence and- and the keys! Elizabeth, my oldest child, one year away from being a full-grown adult. Whatever went wrong? You could say going upstairs wasn't the key to my success. What happened next, you ask? Well, um, after I broke down crying about the ghosts in our basement, like any almost adult would do, my mom decided to sleep on the couch so I wouldn't be alone. And this would be a pretty normal story if I was, I don't know, five. But no, I was 17. <laughs> this happened two years ago. That makes me so sad. You can't get much lower than that. The moral of the story? When something goes wrong, don't panic. Chances are, if your power goes out, you're not gonna get murdered. But, I mean, you never know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. While you watch this, I should be at college, so hopefully that's going well. Hopefully I'm surviving. Here is the fan art. Thank you so much for this. It means the world. You guys are great. And if you gave me a fan art, then congratulations. You're rewarded confetti. And who doesn't love confetti? So yeah, there you go. Have a wonderful, amazing day. Eat more tacos. Bye.